Welcome to day six of the 10 days of Gen AI. And today we are understanding fine tuning a large language model. Now, large language models are powerful, but they're not one size fits all. To excel at specific tasks, we need to tailor their abilities. And that's where fine tuning comes in. What is fine tuning? Well, think of it as coaching an athlete. You start with a base model that has general skills and then you train it on a specific data set to specialize. Now, this data set is carefully curated to teach the model the nuances of the task that you want it to perform. Now, imagine a use case of medical diagnosis. Now, an AI designed to help doctors diagnose skin cancer. You would fine tune it on thousands of images labeled with different types of skin problems. The model then learns to recognize the patterns distinguish between benign and malignant growths and then ultimately assist in making accurate diagnosis. Now, how does fine tuning work? The first thing is the base model. You start with a pre-trained model. This could be your Gemini, GPT, whichever model you choose. The next thing is the data set. Gather a high quality task specific data set with labeled examples. Then comes training, adjust that model's parameters by exposing it to that data set. Then is the evaluation. You test the fine-tuned model on new, unseen data to assess its performance. Now, fine-tuning is a great way to customize the large language model, but its computation is extremely expensive and it requires a lot of data and also risks overfitting. That's it for fine tuning. We're going to compare retrieval augmented generation with fine tuning in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and follow to not miss the next one. And make sure to leave a comment, uh, give, it a, give this video a like if you are liking this series so far. Thank you.